lovely cup of tea. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Um, you're listening to Unity FM 93.5. Um, welcome to my show on raising children. Um, we're covering different topics that affect children um, in today's um, climate. Um, so far, we've addressed um, topics such as how do you discipline your children? Um, last week, we looked at the different um, ways that we can get the best out of our children. Some people, um, you know, use the good old fashioned approach, smacking their children. But we know that that obviously has consequences as parents. We, we you know, it has its limitations. You can't do that now. Um, some people resort to the naughty step or some people have time out. So we went into quite a lengthy discussion um, last week. Um, we had some people call in, etc. Um, and of course, um, what it all came down to is as parents, we really need to up our game, meaning we need to pay attention to how we are being with our children and what we're putting into our children, which leads me on to today's topic. Um, I'm looking at the relationship of um, children and food, you know. Um, I want you to take a couple of minutes, really, to think about some of the foods and drinks that um, you, maybe yourself or your children, have access today. Um, I'd assume that majority of you may have started your morning giving your children cereal if they were having sandwiches, then, you know, you may have put their sandwiches in there, yogurts, etc. Um, you know, unfortunately, we're in a time now where um, there are certain companies that um, in terms of getting cheaper, um, you know, ways of, of producing the same stuff in a cheaper way and saving themselves money, they're maybe, um, you know, taking risks that are putting us at, at risk. Um, and what I mean by this is really when we look at the statistics about some of these new ingredients that are being put into f into food, um, the statistics are quite alarming. So I wanted to focus on um, just a few um, of, the, of, of the, the, the ingredients that I'm talking about. The first one um, that I want to talk about is something called aspartame. Um, what is aspartame? Well, it's a sweetener, the short of it. I'm not going to go into, um, you know, the chemical makeup of it, etc., because I feel that it's not relevant. What is relevant is we know um, what it is and how it's used. Um, so the dangers we've been told um, of aspartame for kids is that as adults, when you read on the labels, um, the ingredients and the content of them, now, as adults, we may be able to take those amounts. But as children, obviously, their stomachs are smaller and, and certain amounts of stuff are going to affect them differently. So we need to bear this in mind when we're looking at the amounts of these ingredients. Now, a spa time has been said that in small doses is fine, but in abundance, it can cause some serious problems. So, um, you know, the FDA, um, who are the Food and Drug Administration based in the USA, have actually said that aspartame is fine. However, um, some opponents claim, like Family Matters TV, that the ingredients in aspartame can cause former, former dive, form, I can't even pronounce this word, formaldehyde accumulations especially when products containing aspartame are subjected to heat um, it goes on to say that in cities such as Sweden um, studies have um, been done on drinks diet drinks and they found that potentially they can cause brain tumors now you're probably thinking well, you know what what relevance does this have to me you know Aspartame can be found in cereals, in a lot of squash drinks. Um, you know, it can be found in chewing gum. You know, a lot of things that we would maybe, um, you know, uh, shrug aside and things that we use on a daily basis. Um, the kind of products it can be found in, um, if you look for words like 
no added sugar, uh, sugar free, anything with diet on it or light. Um, this may indicate the presence of artificial sweeteners. Um, so, yeah, you know, we need to start raising our awareness Um may also be a point to add that anything that does have um, something called have the the term organic on it and has been certified as organic um, such products are prohibited from containing aspartame so these are things that obviously we need to take into serious consideration now I want to go on to some more facts Um, did you know that the Centre for Diseases Control predicts that our children's generation could be the first in history to have shorter lifespans than parents. Now, you know, pause. You know, they've already found that our children are going to have shorter lifespans than us as parents. Now, that for me is very alarming because what, you know, it's indicating is that if we don't pay attention to all of the things that our children are being exposed to on different levels well then you know we're not going to see the results of that until later on in life we know that there are diseases out there that exist such as diabetes Um, there are other disorders that are coming up Um, one of the facts that are also on in relation to this sheet is that um, eliminating food additives from our children's diets can improve many behaviour problems such as ADD and ADHD symptoms, learning issues, aggressive behaviour, physical alignment and some autism symptoms. So, you know, again, we have to pay attention because often um, I get a lot of parents that come up to me for advice about maybe managing their children's behaviour or different aspects of getting the best out of their child's academic performance, you know, and I always go back to the basics, you know, is your child getting enough sleep? You know, are you um, preparing your child with little tasks such as, okay, let's have sit down reading time. And the big one, are we looking at some of the foods that we're giving our children? Now, When we go um, into the supermarket, we are bombarded with so many products and it's so easy to just go for the special offer. But often the special offer is the one that does have the catch. And, you know, I feel as parents, we really need to um, raise our awareness of how we're shopping um, and what we shop for. So it further goes on to say that the FDA, this is... uh, you know, like the Food Authority um, based in the States, allows more than 3,000 chemical additives in our food. There have been no studies showing how these chemicals react with one another in our bodies. Um, So, of course, yes, they've done research on the um, aspects of maybe one of these ingredients, but how these things are affecting us um, on, you know, together is another story. It also says food additives can cause hyperactivity, depression, concentration and learning problems, obesity, headaches, anger and violence and much more. So, you know, again, we have to pause there. There are so many, um, you know, adverse effects that these foods are having on our children and you know if they're having these effects on our children then of course they can have we can have they can have the effects on us so you know i often um find that you may get a dip in the day or you feel really low in energy you know is it the foods that you're eating you know we hopefully we're going to go take it back to Quran and Sunnah and look at some of the um remedies or some of the the foods maybe that we've forgotten about that actually um benefit us Um, I always try to take it back to Quran and Sunnah, as you know. So food sensitivities can show up in hundreds of ways, from behaviour to physical symptoms. Um, You just have to pause and identify these. So, um, yes, you know, 
if you do see or notice your child, um, maybe, I mean, I've often said, I was speaking to a parent the other day and she mentioned that when she seen her baby eat tangerine, the cheeks of the baby went bright red and came up with a rash-like um, response to the food. So, you know, be 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 um, aware as parents of, of how these things are affecting your children. It further goes on to say there are no long-term studies done on the effects of ADD and ADHD medications in children. Unfortunately, the children taking these drugs are the study. So, you know, do you feel comfortable knowing that when you go into a supermarket, you are picking up brands that, you know, um, haven't really been studied, you know, We are living in a world of processed foods. You know, when you go down an aisle, and I noticed this, I mean, I went through a phase where I was super healthy, you know, drinking soya milk and um, eating avocado, um, something I'm trying to get back to, inshallah. But I noticed that when I went into a supermarket, the result of this meant that I would abandon so many aisles You know, where do you spend most of your time? Are you heading straight to the cordials, the squash, you know, the biscuits, all of these things? You know, what is the nutritional nutritional value of them? You know, obviously, our body has rights and Allah has created our bodies um, to crave a sweetness. Um, And this sweetness can be found in many fruits um, and even vegetables, you know, Um, what we're doing when we're having things like biscuits is we're replacing um, this sweetness and giving it but we're taking away the nutritional value so is it really having any benefit on our bodies you know all you're doing is providing your body with energy you know and we're only going to see the result of this later on down the line now If you're a child and your mum or dad is successful in helping you eat healthy, then please call into the radio station. The number is 0121 772 If you're a parent and you feel that you know quite a lot on this, um, then please call in 0121 772 um, I was due to get a dietitian to call in, but unfortunately, um, they dropped out short notice. So it's all just facts, I'm afraid. But yes, if you have the know-how, please call in. That's 0121 So aspartame, one of the many culprits. Um, again, it can be found in things like squash drinks, you know, um, I don't want to name any particular brands, but anything that has no added sugar on there, you know. So, yeah, if it has just, you know, anything other than no added sugar and you look at the back, usually um, it won't have that ingredient, aspartame. And and I certainly try my best to do that when I buy my drinks. Um, Another um, way that you may avoid seeing it, but instead we have the E number in there, which is um, known for NutraSweet, which is one of the the um, brands related to it, is um, E951. That's E for Echo, 951. Um, so, yeah, I guess in the beginning, when you start reading all of the ingredients, you, it may be quite time consuming. But I, you know, I, I guess practice makes perfect. And eventually, you know, you'll become a lot more um, acute to to what it is you are going to pick up. So um, some vitamins and medicines also contain aspartame. Um, Quite the contradiction if as a parent you're trying to um, look out for your children and these vitamins um, and medicines that are meant to do well for your children um, have got aspartame in it then, you know, yeah. I mean... Is it quite a big claim, what I'm saying, that, you know, these are facts. I mean, if you type up aspartame, it's A, S for sugar, P for Peter, A, R, T for Terry, A, M for mother, E. If you type it up, 
um, it pretty much has it on there. You know, severe headaches, stomach problems, um, cancer, you know, all of them. Now, I went through a phase where I, I wanted to drink lots of water. So I thought, rather than drinking um, water, let me drink flavoured water. Uh, it would be doing me a favour. And I had a friend who was very into her health foods. Um, and she told me about aspartame. And I laughed at her and ignored her and said, whatever, live a life. You know, if you, if you, if you, if you continue looking at all these different ingredients... You know, you'll, you won't eat anything. You know, you're just constantly um, scared to do anything and whatever. You'll just be on, on, on water and, and lettuce. So, um, you know, of course, what happened as a result was I started getting severe headaches and they were really bad. And because I pretty much was only having the flavoured water, um, I was able to eliminate it down to this one ingredient which was aspartame which was which was enough to give me um, a good shock into not using it again again I'll give you the telephone number it's 0121 772 8892 would be really interested in getting your views on this Um, are you a parent who's very cautious about what you give your children Um, can you give us advice maybe on how you get um some good food into your children you know um we're bombarded by adverts um your children maybe when they go to school are bombarded by um you know lunch boxes that have got an array of delights in there most of them i mean i know they say in school that you shouldn't have chocolates and, and crisp but they do have them um so yeah so moving on um i just wanted to show the array of links that food can have um, with children. There was an article from healthymuslim.com um, and if, if you go onto their main page, they, they lead straight onto this. And there was an article referring to healthy diets in children lead to higher IQ. Um, and a quote there was saying that children fed healthy diets in early age may have a slightly higher IQ, while those on heavier junk food diets may have a slightly reduced IQ, according to new research from the University of Adelaide. Um, So junk food, you know, obviously I don't want to mention any names as usual, but chicken and chips, pizza, burgers, you know, um, are we guilty of it as parents? I mean, I know that before I started getting into this topic, it was an easy route for me to take to just quickly stop by somewhere and feed my children um, a little bit of this food. Not really thinking, I guess, about the the consequences. You know, not that I would, you know, I would have done it intentionally if I'd known that there was a harm. But had I have known what I know now, I would be very cautious, you know, As a parent now, I definitely pre-plan my outings, you know, I've gone ahead, you know, and and bought little stuff like, you know, chopped up carrots, you know, pre-prepared little grapes that they can pick up, taken rice, you know, rice cakes, you know, your children will get into these fruits and foods if you encourage them to, and we can address that a little bit later, but yeah. Telephone number 0121-772-8892. So the article further goes on to say, the study of more than 7,000 children compared a range of dietary patterns, including traditional and contemporary home-prepared food. Ready-prepared food, baby foods. Um, You know, a lot of parents are in a habit of doing it, you know, and it's easy, again, Know that you are living in a culture where, you know, people want to um, take advantage of the fact that they know as parents we haven't got time and we may always go for the easy option, you know, and, and take what's available on the aisle for special offers. We've just got a caller on the line. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. 
Walaikum Salaam Ya Thank you so much, thank you so much, Selena, um, for your wonderful program. I was listening to it as I was making some um, some food for the kids, um, <laughs> and I do feel very passionate about this. And um, I, I know you said to call in if you've got recipes or you've tried to get your children to eat something healthy and have not been able to, or you know recipes and so forth. So I I just recently came up with this um, breakfast timetable, if you want to call it that. Okay. And um, and like because I was real I was realizing that, the, that if I if, well most parents like you say are just to give them cereal, and I don't think that's nutritional enough to you know to get them a, to give them a good start in the day that they need. Mm-hmm. So then I said okay, I sat with them and I said let's let's draw up something what they like. So um just say for Monday um uh, we'll have like um we'll have the eggy bread because one of my daughters she doesn't eat um, she can't eat um egg if, if I scramble it. So one way I've got around. Do, you know, doing you know, got around to that is I, I make eggy bread, and, okay. and, and they love it. And uh, and then like Monday we'll have yogurt with nuts and, and fruit, and um, and maybe if I make sticky toffee pudding, they'll have that with it. Wow. Okay. And then um, and they love it. It's full of dates. It's gorgeous. Yeah. And then and then just say Wednesday, um, they'll have like, crumpets, and in that I'll put like um, uh, olive oil, I'll put egg, I put corn flour, all this, and, and they love it. Cause so exactly you, you actually make crumpets? You said. Yeah. Wow, okay. And, and, and the recipe I got from Unity FM. So, um, wow, okay. Yeah, and, and, and in it, because I, I, they don't have like a spoon of olive oil in it, there's like lots, uh, like three tablespoons of olive oil and, and, mm. and corn flour and, and the egg and everything. So, it's wonderful. so what made you so passionate about, um, you know, changing the way, I mean, was you different before or, you know, what raised your awareness in how you are with your, your, your children and food? You see, as a teacher, I see it in the children. You're talking right. about all the ADHD and all the... And constantly, they're walking into school with, like, a packet of crisps as their breakfast. Mm. Yeah. And, they, and, and they, they've got a bar of chocolate and their fish and chips for, for lunch. And and, 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 then you, and then, you know, you're surprised to see the behaviour you do see. And yeah. all these people talking about aspartame. I mean, I, I'd heard of that, but I wasn't sure that it was linked to all, you know, all sorts of things that you were talking about. Yeah. So um, I just thought back to basics, you know, porridge on Thursday, mm. you know, Friday get a bit of baked, um, you know, we've got um, red kidney beans that we make as like, a, I don't know, we call it a fool, so we have it in the morning with some nice, you know, you, you guys call it prata, yeah. some kota, okay. so stuff like that. And you know mm. what, the kids enjoy it and, and you feel like you've done a good start and you've given them a good start to the day. And Absolutely. they want to go home at school and they're a bit, you know, haywire with all sorts of, you know. Or tired, they're always constantly tired children. Nowadays, they're always tired. Mm, exactly, and I think, exactly. and I think as a teacher, this is what I'm saying: is par- parents need to know that when your children are at school and they're surrounded by these delights that are, you know, the yogurts, the fruits, mm. the this and that, mm. you know, we have to affect how they think about food as well. We have to do our part as parents. Absolutely. So. I'm still getting around. I'm trying to get around the fact that my kids won't eat just vegetables. We used to eat vegetables like broccoli and cauliflower raw. My mum's got. I used to do it. Um, I just can't seem to incorporate it in my food. So that's my next step to try. And if anybody else or any parent can, you know, kind of give us a good recipe that can perhaps use for lunchtime or you know, supper time or tea time or yeah. whatever, then that'll be great. But thank well, you so off- much. It's no problem, and thank you so much for bringing in, you know, your ideas. And, and definitely as a teacher as well, you know, like I said, I wanted to raise the awareness of how children are behaving in Absolutely. schools because we have to make that link and not always run to the doctor and be like, Absolutely. what's wrong with my child? Absolutely. So Absolutely. thank you for calling in, sister. Thank you for having me. Thank you. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you Okay, brilliant. So, um... Excellent. I'm really happy that we had um, a teacher at that call in and a mother because, you know, I have to say my work in schools has definitely um, affected, you know, how I behave as a parent. You know, when I look at the school dinners, you know, I'm not going to expose any particular schools, but when I look at the school dinners, you know, as a parent, you do not know what your children are eating. And um, unless, for example, you do sandwiches, which is great because when when it comes home, unless they've been raiding and doing the swap thing with other children, um, you you can you know monitor you know what they've been having. So okay, taking it back to basics. So your children are going to be affected by the foods that they eat. We need to know this. Um, in Ramadan, I did make a note of saying that if some of the, some of our children were fasting, it was a good time for us to monitor. You know if there were any changes you know sometimes I, I I heard a parent mention she gave her child 
um, skittles. And within the space of 10 minutes, the child became aggressive and was running around, you know. And I'm not saying potentially it was, you know, that particular brand, but, you know, the ingredients that are in it, we really have to research into them because if we don't, we're going to see in the long run that we don't know who our children are and potentially some of the diseases that can be a cause of this or a link to this you know we don't want to have a hand in any of these things so later on in the show inshallah I'm going to discuss um, a program that was brought to my son's school which I think was a great way of getting my son involved and he came home telling me about some of the stuff he was having oh mom did you know how much sugar was in this you know and also yeah let's go back to basics and um, if you've got any ideas or if you have any more information on different ingredients then please call in 0121 772 we're coming up to a break now so yes, when I when we come back, we'll discuss maybe some short recipe ideas um, and what are the alternatives to healthy eating for our children. Inshallah. Assalamu alaikum. You're listening to ninety three point five Unity FM. Don't forget you can volunteer too. Call oh one two one seven seven two eight eight nine two. Unity FM, heart of the city. Planning on going on Hajj or Umrah? Ensure that you have your affairs in order prior to departing on this journey of a lifetime by preparing your Islamic will. It is narrated by the Blessed Prophet, peace be upon him, that it is the duty of every Muslim who has anything to bequeath not to let two nights pass without writing a will about it. Sahih al-Bukhari. I Will Solicitors is a leading Muslim provider of Islamic wills in the country. Our solicitors can help you prepare your Islamic will before you leave for Hajj. For a free consultation, call 0121-288-8808 or visit iwillsolicitors.com. We also specialise in inheritance tax planning, probate, quarter protection work and trust matters. That's 288-8808. I Will Solicitors. Professional, trusted, efficient. Islamic Spirituality UK presents Towards Marital Bliss in the Light of Quran, Sunnah and Sirah by Sheikh Mufti Kamaluddin Ahmed. This two-day weekend intensive will be at the Bordesley Centre, Muath Trust, Birmingham on the 29th to the 30th of September and is open to men and women with full segregation and creche facilities available. There is free entry but registration is required. The intensive will cover complex interpersonal relationships in marriage. For further information and registration, please visit www www.islamicspirituality.org Places are limited, so register now. Are you planning for Hajj or Umrah? Well, think no more. Al Magawi Travel offers Hajj and Umrah services and worldwide air tickets. We are originally from Makkah and we only promise what we can deliver. We also offer halal investment in Makkah and Medina. Al Magawi Travel is a Yata accredited, ATOL protected, and approved by the Saudi Authority. We are based in Birmingham at 72 Hobmore Road, Small Heath, B10 9BU, opposite Al Hijra Mosque and next to Al Hijra Library. For more details, please call 0121 0378 or visit hajjanumratravel.com Asif's Pharmacy, provider of Hajj and Umrah meningitis vaccination services. We now bring you asifspharmacy.com, the new online pharmacy. With thousands of pages of expert health advice, asifspharmacy.com is full of essential information for every Muslim. Order online from your home and choose from over 8,000 pharmacy and healthcare products, all at discount prices. Ordering your repeat prescriptions online from asifspharmacy.com is easy and simple with free delivery. Asifspharmacy.com is run by Asif's Pharmacy. 29 Allen Rock Road, Birmingham, B8 or call 328-2320 The Abrahamic Foundation an Islamic educational establishment situated in Smethwick We offer structured courses for adults and children including Tajweedul Quran Arabic language Weekday Madrasa Tuition Centre New Muslim Support Network Holiday Play Scheme For more information or to register visit abrahamicfoundation.org.uk or call us now on 0121 448 The Abrahamic Foundation, a foundation for life. Mushtaq Sweets. Buffalo milk se tayar ki gayi khalis desi ghee ki lazeez mithaiyan. Mushtaq Sweets ki creamy ras malai aur mazedar barfi ke saath saath desi makhan bhi lijiye. Birmingham में तीन branches 143 Lozells Road 554 Coventry Road और head office 102 Alamrock Road Birmingham order के लिए call कीजिए 0121-328-3837 Mushtaq Sweets नामी काफी है
Assalamu alaikum, this is Saint Bika and you're listening to 93.5 Unity FM. This is Mazum Beg and you are listening to Unity FM on 93.5. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome back. So, yeah, we're, we're covering children and food. Um, a active topic. Um, we, like I was saying, we have to raise the awareness of what we're giving our children and look at the consequences of um, what these effects can have on our children. Um, so, yeah, I have joined with me um the owner of Ishmael's Grill. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam. Okay, if you just speak into the mic and pull the mic forward please. Jazakallah. Okay. Okay. So, um you um have been open for how long now? We have been open um well for about nearly 4 years now and well running for about 4 years. You're going to have to come close to the mic, sorry. I've been running for about uh, about four years now. Closer? <laughs> okay. Yeah. yeah. Four years? Yeah, four years we've okay, been running I for about... Could you just newly refurbished then? We've just recently refurbished a brand new uh, site which we've moved to, which is a lot bigger. Okay. Um, which c- caters for about uh, 400 seats, which is on the main Stratford Road in Spark Hill. I have actually been there and I was very impressed. It's very nice, mashallah. And the food was, okay. So um, how do you incorporate healthy eating? Um, you know, is it something you're very, you know, obviously conscious of? Um, yes, I mean, uh, alhamdulillah, most of our food is all um, predominantly all grilled. Okay. Um, so it's, uh, it's, it's not like, uh, you know, your fatty, oily, fried stuff yeah um that you get in chip shops and stuff yeah. e- even our curries are cooked you even our curries i mean well the curries are cooked in desi ghee right. um, okay. <laughs> so i don't know how healthy that would be but uh, in the asian sort of uh, environment environment i mean uh, the desi ghee is uh, quite healthy for them right okay i'm not i'm not too familiar with all of that but okay so um if anyone comes in and they have any specific requirements, like maybe they've got allergies to certain things, you know, it, um, what what kind of things do you do in terms of clarity for these people? With some well, people if they ask us basically what's in the menu, or we we, we 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 clearly make out to explain that what's actually done in the cooking process and what's actually involved, and we'll talk them through. Obviously, if they've got no allergy or anything, we'll we'll make that clear to you know and the you parents. Can take that out of the absolutely. Menu, we don't actually yeah. use nuts or any no. as such because stuff it, like it's that, basically yeah. it, because it's a steakhouse and the majority of the stuff is either it's all grilled um, the beef is all grilled okay. it's all tender uh, under thirty month beef that we actually use right. and the chicken is um, what we what we prepare is all uh, grilled it again and nothing like um, a brothers explained earlier on is actually cooked or in oily foods or grease or anything like that. Okay, brilliant. So, we propose a competition, don't we? To our little budding youngsters. Um, Ishmael's Grill That's have right. kindly um, put a competition offer for us. So, parents, if you have children who can write us um, a lovely poem or a nasheed, maybe that they want to say on the radio, we are going to have this competition running for up to four weeks um you can email us um this article at w no unity sorry Uh, studio at unity studio at unity Um, if i can just come in there okay Uh, ismail's girl have kindly said that they'll give us a meal for four uh, for a family okay and uh, but uh, they want to see a really nice poem about healthy eating Mm-hmm. Uh, as they've explained, they, they've gone, you know, uh, made inroads into trying to give grilled food, uh, you know, healthy food, especially catering for younger people. So they want to see a really nice poem 
from uh, our young Muslim brothers and sisters. Brilliant. Okay. Right, we've got a caller on the line. If you put your headphones on, you can hear this as well, inshallah. Asalaam alaikum. Wa alaikum salam wa um, sorry, I haven't really been listening to the show. I've just actually just turned it on. And um, Henny, you're speaking about um, some ingredients. Um, I feel that, um, you know, they're in everything. And we have to, as parents, um, I'm a parent of four children. Two of those have Mashallah. autism. Okay. Mashallah. And, um, you know, I have to be looking at ingredients all the time. And I'm a novice in this. It's just, it's just a big wide world out there full of all these um you know stuff that's going to be there to uh, affect our children um and uh you know you you, you know it's loads of um, autistic traits in children it's not because they necessarily have autism it's because of the food that they eat you know um e- even down to fruit and veg you think we're giving our children you know good healthy fresh fruit and veg it's not even real um so i i try to also um, make sure i look uh, the ingredients. Okay, um, you wanted to come in, brother. Uh, al- um, yeah, Alhamdulillah, sister. Sorry, my name's Adil from Ismail's Grill. Um, we the the, uh, the the burgers as such, like say for the kiddies' meals and uh, uh, or what have you, um, they're hundred uh, percent beef. Um, they're handmade, so they're not the okay, processed. Uh, they're not the processed uh, beef burgers, or you know, you get at in the, in your local chip shops as such. Um, so that is like something which is a you know more of a pure product. Yeah, sister. I mean, um, what what we were saying, we've just got um, the owners from Ishmael's Grill, and um, mashallah, they've offered um, a competition now, where if we can encourage um, your children, or you want to encourage your children to write a poem about healthy eating um, and maybe get as many fruits and vegetables as they can in there, then yep. um, they're offering a meal for a family of four. four. And uh, they want to see uh, a nice poem about healthy eating. And uh, they um, the poem has to be emailed to studio at unityfm.net. That's studio at unityfm.net. And uh, we'll pick out the best one next next week on your show, uh, Sister Om Tahir. Inshallah, okay. Inshallah. But yeah, and you can also get that at the website, www.unityfm.net. But yeah, th- you know, thanks for bringing that up, Sister. You know, especially the fact that you have two children with autism, because clearly you would have had to go through quite a lengthy process in, you know, eliminating that it was food and, you know... I'm still actually going through that process myself and, you know, I, there's loads of parents um, out there that I see that are trying to give their children, you know, their healthy five a day, fruit and veg, or if you do, or if they can't actually get that, you know, even in vitamins, um, you know, these um, damaging, um, you know, substances are actually mm-hmm. in uh, vitamins and I actually use Bassett and um, is it um, Halib Orange um, because they don't actually have... Um, that element in there, they use something else called uh, sucrose or sucrose. And yeah, they do. What, yeah, that that sweetener is um, is is is, is more natural. It comes from um, cane and beet. Mm. Beetroot, so, but what um, I was trying to say earlier, though, sister, is that basically, you know, Allah has created our bodies um, to naturally want sweet stuff, you know, mm. and this is why we have um, fruits and some vegetables that are very sweet. And what we've done is we've fallen into a culture where we've replaced this sweetness with things like biscuits, which have no nutritional value, very minimal, you know. Yeah. And what we have to do as parents is really go back to the basics, prepare, um, you know these little things and I know it does it is time consuming and I don't know you must know managing four children mashallah you know may Allah make it easy for you I mean you know I'm managing two and and, and it you know I bust out into a sweat for that so um but yeah so have you got any tips then before you go um, I say, you know, like I was saying before, if you can't actually, you know, get the fruit and uh, veg uh, for the five legs, it's really difficult to do. I say, you know, um, get, um, you know, substitute as uh, a vitamin, but do look at the vitamins, um, water, plenty of exercise. 
um, you know, and, and, and to limit, yes, um, the intake of sweet stuff, uh, you know, replace it with fruit. I know it seems to be more easier said than done, but um, you can get tinned fruit. That is even better, you Absolutely. know. Absolutely. Um, even frozen stuff um, as well. I tend to have frozen vegetables because I feel that you get more of a nutritional uh, value than getting them from the... Um, you know, from from the fruit and vegetable, because yeah. once the once the vegetables have been picked, they start losing their nutritional values to yeah. it stay, so t- stay tuned in because i'm going to go into how we can get these fruits and vegetables in i hope you i haven't wanted... repeated anything else for no, anybody else no 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 you haven't i've just actually no. just joined the uh, you know the show so please forgive me no 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 you haven't um you wanted to say something brother. yeah i mean um i would uh, you know us as ismail's grill we would insist people to um more grill their food than well grill their Definitely. food than then uh, use, fr- uh, you know, uh, oil or fryers and frying oh. products uh, uh, as such. It's much more healthier that way, It's, it's it? a lot more healthier, it is, yes. Um, also, I mean, uh, use, uh, use more organic foods, like our beef and such, and even our chicken is like, um, it, it's, it's or, or, or organic meat. Um, and say, same with the, um, uh, we use the, the, kiddie, the kiddies meals that we use, the, the fish fingers, they're 100% cod. Uh, normally, like, you, if you'd go into, like, uh, whoever's doing fish fingers or kiddies meals, they would use the um, processed meat yeah. uh, uh, as well. So, yeah. um, I mean, at this, uh, you know, our new branch on Stratford Road, that's what we're trying to emphasize, you know, trying to uh, 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 set a message across and, uh, you know, trying to be the pioneers of, uh, inshallah, uh, uh, grilled food. Mm-hmm. Good, healthy oh, food. Inshallah. Good, healthy um, food. Yes, healthy food, definitely. Yeah. Uh, but sister, I was just wondering if you've actually uh, come and visited our, our, our place. And if you get do get a chance, bring your children down and we will look after you. Oh. Definitely. Yeah, I'll, please I'll leave your details, sister, and we can arrange that for you, inshallah. In, inshallah, inshallah. Oh, thank you so much for calling in, sister. Oh, anytime. Thank you okay, much. and stay tuned in for the um, extra chips, inshallah. I will do, inshallah. <laughs> All right, okay. salam alaikum. I think I nearly said um, extra chips then. <laughs> <laughs> I meant extra t- tips. The other thing I was going to say was, uh, we're not live now, are we? Yes. <laughs> oh, sorry, I was just going to say, what age groups What age groups are actually entering for the competition? Because I don't think you've pointed that out. Well, I think um, if they can put pen to paper and they can, you know, then then why not? keep it open up the limitation should be do, do you think muslims are n- not prone to cheating you wouldn't get adults in there pretending <laughs> to be young children but if i can just give the email again that they need to send their poem to okay. and we want everybody to be good muslims and not cheat and allow children say under under 12 under 12 yeah. under 12 okay under 12 uh, allow them to make the poems to make it really fair and then send the poem in. It doesn't have to be very long. It can be a shorter, you know, uh, as long as it's not one or two words. And send it to studio at unityfm.net, studio at unityfm.net. And uh, then we'll go through the all the entries and Sister Om Tahir will choose the, the winning one. And then that winning entry, uh, a meal for four, will be provided by Ismail's Grill and they, they've given us a firm commitment. They're here. We're going to get them to sign on the dotted line that they're going to look after those people when they go there. Mashallah. I was just going to say, sister, can my children enter as well? <laughs> <laughs> I'm, no af- I'm afraid no, <laughs> no Unity FM employees or any guests, <laughs> their children are allowed. Yeah. <laughs> but, I mean, it's really positive and I think we need to encourage more community initiatives to get involved in things like this because one thing that's come out of the show is that, you know, the community isn't getting involved and coming together, mm-hmm. you know. So, brilliant, and thank you so much for doing that. So, we're just going to go to some basics. If you've got children, you need to listen in now. So, how can we encourage um, this, you know, five a day? So, I had um, a, a villa initiative come into my son's school. It's called Villa Vitality, and um, it was brilliant. It basically... Um, they spent time with the children and it runs over a five week um a five week program and what they actually did 
in the first session. I mean, we've still got the rest of the sessions to go, but I was really impressed with what they did. They lined up some pictures and there was a Yazoo, a Rubicon, a Ribena, you know, lots of different um, labels, a Coke even. And then they asked the children to line them up to say which one they thought had the most sugar in. Um, Now, get thinking about that. You know, Yazoo, Rubicon... Coca-Cola, um, I'm going to tell you that it was the milkshake that had the most sugar. It had 12 and a half spoons of sugar in it. Now, I was alarmed because I must admit, if I am feeling like I want to just get something down me, a drink, then um, that is usually what I would go for. So I was quite shocked at that. And to know that a, a bottle of Coke has over 52 sugar um, spoons of sugar in it you know this is alarming stuff now it definitely affected my son because when he got home he was like mum did you know and off he went with all of this stuff so really brilliant initiative they set a challenge for them every week the first challenge is for them to have five a day the second one is for them to drink as much water as they can and then they recommend different um, ways of doing that. The third challenge is for them to do 60 minutes of um, active um, training. So, you know, just getting around and they obviously say that, you know, walking to school can count as that. They then um, look at food labels and then finally, they get to go to Aston Villa and um, do a cooking session. Now, if you're any schools and you want to get involved in this, then contact Aston Villa. Um, I think it was through the NHS that they got the initiative going. It's called Change for Life. Um, so, yeah, you know, how do we get our five um, a day in? As our caller said, Sister um, Charlene, who called in earlier, um you can use um, frozen um, food. And of course, yes, you're capturing um, the vitamins as early as possible. Um, you can drink one. Of course, we. it says here that one glass of 150 millilitres of unsweetened fruit juice per day counts as one portion. Since reading this, I have now started drinking one glass of orange juice every morning, feeling good about myself that it's one day, you know, my one of five, mashallah. So, and um, before we finish, we've probably, probably got about 10 minutes left. If you are a mother and you do have tips for the caller that was here earlier in terms of how we can get um, more vegetables into our diet, then please call in 0121 772 and hopefully we can squeeze a quick call in. Um, so yes, drink one, defrost one, that comes under obviously the frozen foods, open one, um, canned fruit and veg counts too. Chop one. Fruits can be fun for kids. Peel it, slice it, make shapes with it and make it easy for them to enjoy. And remember, this is spending time with your children. You know, we often um, ask our children to listen to us and it's quite a battle, you know. Um, but when you're doing things like this, you know, they have to learn to trust you. They have to learn to have, you know, that sabr, that patience. You know, you're building up a really good relationship with them. And, you know, let's work towards doing that. You know, let's get involved with our children. Um, pack one. A piece of fruit or veg can help cheer up a lunchbox. Try carrot sticks, baby tomatoes or a banana with a face drawn on the skin. I don't know how much I'm going to advocate that <laughs> um, for various reasons, which we can discuss in a later show. But um, sprinkle one. It's easy to add fresh, frozen or canned fruit and veg to meals. Try sprinkling sweet corn or pineapple chunks on top of pizza. And I must admit, this is one that I do in, uh, enjoy. We have got a few um, recipes that we can use at the end, which I'll mention. Um, dip one. It's fun to dunk. Cucumber, pepper and carrot sticks all go down well with low fat dips. Again, I wouldn't encourage low fat because of the reasons that we discussed earlier. And it was something that came up. Um, you know, I did mention to the lady, you know, what do you say about you know, sweeteners and because she had a can of Diet Coke and said, oh, look, there's no sugar in this. 
And um, and I thought, well, I don't necessarily want to give the message to my child that just because it's got no added sugar, it's necessarily healthy. So, um, yeah, bear that in mind. Um, add one, try grated or chopped carrots in spaghetti bolognese um, or throw tasty veg into a sauce. Snack on one, fresh and dried fruit counts. Try a small handful of raisins and dried apricots. They make a great five-a-day treat. It's also a good idea to pack some healthy snacks for when you're out and about um, and the kids get peckish. peckish sorry. Um, and again, this is something that I have grown accustomed to doing, you know, pre-making drinks. You know, I um, I love this new cordial drink that I've got. It's ginger and lemongrass very different very refreshing um and i i pour them aside with some really cold water so that we've got that throughout the day um and the kids can you know have a little bit of that chopped carrots things like grapes chopping up the strawberries might seem time consuming but you know if your children are a little bit older there's no harm in letting them get involved you know it increases their responsibility and sometimes we have to learn how to trust our children in that sense okay right so quickly we haven't got long left i'm just going to touch on some ideas of getting um the fruit and veg in food um as i said to the sister the sister that called in early she said how do i get veg you know how do i get my children to eat veg um i've had um someone text in say that they use um peppers and they stuff the peppers with meat um mince meat and then they put sweet corn etc in it and obviously the peppers acts as one of your vegetables and the sweet corn there's also good old fashioned shepherd shepherd's pie now if you're asian and you're not accustomed to shepherd's pie i used to love it my mum did make shepherd's pie it's pretty much mince um you know like a gima with them um, you can put vegetables in it like sweet corn chopped carrots maybe green beans chop them up and then you basically put mashed potato on top of it um and just pipe it on which is really nice you could sprinkle a bit of cheese on it i guess um the other one is pasta with vegetable sauce um filled pizza pita pockets so that's like the pita bread that you get curry a good old-fashioned curry which we all know um how to make and yeah if if you maybe i need to put some recipes on my um my facebook page if anyone suggests and if you do want to post any recipes on the facebook page and do so okay so just to end because we're coming up to the end of the show um yeah the end of the article that i was reading um earlier in terms of what can you do um, to get on top of this. It says, first and foremost, educate yourself on what is actually in the food we eat and feed our children. Only with this information can you make a healthy change for your family. I can show you the way... Oh, okay, then this person does a blog, but I'm not going to broadcast that. Okay, so, um, yeah, and on Healthy Muslim... um, Dot com, you can find many articles about the results, um, the consequences of the food. I've also had um, a sister um, contact me telling me that she's actually um, doing some food awareness groups on um, allergies. So if you're interested in that, then please contact the studio and that will get forwarded to me so I can forward the details on, inshallah. Um, I'm always looking for ways to encourage um, healthiness in the community. So please, if you want to make me aware of that, please contact me um, via the studio Um go onto the website and you can email the studio or contact us here on 0121 772 okay so next week um i'm looking at home educating children we're going to look at the pros we're going to look at the cons we're going to look at what does the law say um and yeah you know if um you are a home educator and you've been doing it for years then please contact me i'd love to have you on the show i'm often you know i i really do want to encourage some female professionals to contact me as well because um 
no offense, but I'm, I, you know, I'm not, I'm not into the whole male thing. You know, we get all these male professionals. Where are the female professionals? I know you're out there somewhere. So yes, please contact me. We're going to look at um, ways of home educating, and not just home educating, but if you do send your children to school um, and you want to uh, maybe encourage them um, or increase their academic performance, then we're going to look at ways of doing that. You know, we'll look at different books that do that. Are tutors worth your time and money? You know, maybe we can discuss that. I often find a lot of parents um, are, you know, going to tutors and spending loads of money. And do they really see the results of it? You know, this this big 11 plus. So many children I know went for it. The poor things were under so much pressure. You know, how do we assess the tutors? You know, how do we know when is the right time for the children um, to be uh, put into tutoring, you know, and on the topic of home educating, we know that when you go to university, you learn about something called the hidden curriculum. It's actually theory that when the children go to school, they're going to be learning about a separate um, group of attitudes and beliefs and you know I really want to discuss this a little bit further and what the Quran and Sunnah says about home educating you know why is it going to benefit us um, I usually use my Facebook page as an open forum but Unity FM does have a forum so please register on that and after the show I may stay on it so that we can have an open discussion inshallah but thank you so much so stay educated um you know if you want to find out um about the links that i've used i'll put them on my facebook page inshallah um and as i said if there are any professionals out there that want to talk on some topics that feel um heartfelt then please um contact me um via facebook assalamu alaikum Are you having immigration problems? Would you like to bring a family member to the UK? Then Stratford Solicitors can help you. We specialise in immigration and asylum and aim to provide a fast and effective service ensuring your matters are dealt with efficiently. We also deal with family matters including marriage difficulties and children's contact applications and provide a mediation service to help ease your pain. For a free consultation call 0121 753 2539 or visit Stratford Solicitors, the number 4, Wyo you.co.uk Stratford Solicitors fighting for justice for you with gold prices at an all-time high why not take advantage and trade in your old gold for cash with Nashad Jewelers we're currently exchanging and buying all types of gold from 9 carat to 24 carat bracelets chains rings necklaces and bangles if it's gold then the shards are buying we promise to be any genuine written quote and can pay you by cash check and even bank transfer visit Nashad Jewelers at 527 Stratford Road Spark Hill or contact us on 0121 773 4286 Khan's Karai and Grill House, sizzling Desi Karais, succulent grills, chapal kebabs, kabuli palau, and much more. Bring your family and friends to the number one grill house with segregated family seating areas and prayer room. Our traditional whole roasted lamb will add that extra oomph to your meal, along with our heavenly desserts, delicious mocktails, fresh milkshakes and juices. Visit Khan'sGrillHouse.com to check out our full menu. All our meat and chicken is 100% halal. Visit 280 Highgate Road, Spark Hill, B12 ADD, or call 7 154 Caspian Pizza, the first halal pizza franchise in the UK. Along with all the firm family favourites, why not try our new meatball pizza? Or you can create your own. We also have side orders including pastas, barbecue or spicy chicken wings, burgers, chicken strippers, mozzarella sticks and garlic mushrooms. Come along and mention Unity FM to get a 10% discount. And by the way, all our meats are HMC approved. To find your local store and franchise opportunities, visit www.caspianpizza.com. Family के साथ आइए और कैस्पियन पिज़्ज़ा का लुत्फ़ उठाइए।
The wait is over. Kids Go Wild is where fun never ends. It's the UK's first ladies and children's only indoor soft play centre. Our play equipment includes separate baby and toddler area, larger play area, a football basketball court and our very own cafe. Visit kidsgowild.co.uk for more info. Also on site, Bodytone Gym Fitness for ladies. Come and check out our new purpose-built gym or visit bodytone-gym.co.uk. Located on Fernley Road, Sparkill, B113NL or ring 772 Two amazing businesses, one great location. Opening Monday, 2nd July. Plan on going on Hajj or Umrah? Ensure that you have your affairs in order prior to departing on this journey of a lifetime by preparing your Islamic will. It is narrated by the Blessed Prophet, peace be upon him, that it is the duty of every Muslim who has anything to bequeath not to let two nights pass without writing a will about it. Sahih al-Bukhari. I Will Solicitors is a leading Muslim provider of Islamic wills in the country. Our solicitors can help you prepare your Islamic will before you leave for Hajj. For a free consultation, call 0121-288-8808 or visit iwillsolicitors.com. We also specialise in inheritance tax planning, probate, quarter protection work and trust matters. Join That's me, JD, for the morning show with lots of interesting stories, encounters and interviews every Wednesday morning at 7.30am, repeated Friday at 7.30am, only 